guys it's nikki welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you are new and in today's video as you can tell by the title we are going to be doing a monochromatic look today's color i literally still have the tag on let me today's color of choice is pink if you couldn't tell and um let's just talk about the fact that when i heard monochromatic why did i think duochrome and i was like i don't have that and then my friend kamani shout out to you for this video idea Mwah. and he was like what you mean and i said let me look it up and then i said oh that's one color stupid I'm we love educating ourselves like you should do that but yeah so if you want to see how i achieved this pink look I literally use all different shades of pink like I'm actually really happy like it feels so pinky <laughs> but um yeah if you guys want to see how I got this look and yeah then please keep watching period tell me how I started filming for another video that I just keep thinking about because I'm like really planning it in my head and I don't even have the products for it. And I was thinking of what to say. And then I was like, you dumb trick. This ain't that video. Anyways. Um, I am currently priming my eyes. I'm using the Juvia's Place Concealer. The I Am Magic Concealer. First of all, my brows came out great. Don't come for me. So. Oh, I forgot to look at the palettes. I guess we'll... um. Look at them as we go. So, the palettes that I have in front of me that I think I want to use for this look, I have the Jackie, the Anastasia Beverly Hills X Jackie Ina palette. I have the Morphe 35M palette. And I have the Juvia's Place, the Masquerade Mini by Juvia's. So, um... Oh my god, I forgot how to film. Uh, let me, I'm not going to talk until I start doing my makeup. So, basically, for today's look, we're doing pinks. <laughs> and I'm really happy because I like pink. Don't tell anybody, though. So, I think to start off, I mean, the only answer, the only answer, that doesn't make sense. The only appropriate we love an intellectual um appropriate way to start off is with the anastasia beverly hills girl the jackie Anna palette and use the shade supreme and i'm gonna just take that and kind of put that all over you know as like the base the base pink i'm so mad i was gathering my materials wow scientific experiment <laughs> i was gathering my materials for this video and I used to have this ColourPop liquid lipstick called Mars, and it was literally this bright, well, not bright, but this deep, bright, because that makes sense, um, pink liquid lipstick. And I don't have her anymore. You know what that's called? Disappointment. But moving on, I'm going to take the shade Bori from the Masquerade. Yeah, the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm going over top that, um supreme color i really like this shade i actually use this as a blush as well and I'm, i might use it as a blush in this video for it to be a little bit more pink you just have to be careful because it's really pigmented so when you plop that bit on it's gonna stay right there hold on let me bring y'all let me bring y'all in i was gonna say i look bald now but i look bald when i started so there's that i really like this brush to kind of use for all around your eye i don't know it's just something about the shape and everything this is the morphe x jaclyn hill jh30 just the shape and fluffiness of this brush it really gets me going let me throw on some earrings so i can look presentable okay i'm gonna go back in with the bori shade just one more time i have no idea where i'm going with this look so, because, like, this is pink enough, right? I'm going to go in with the Morphe 35M. I'm going to go in with the si Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go in with the same brush, and I'm going to take Sweet Bits, which is just, like, a deeper, like, I don't know, but it's deeper, and I'm kind of going to 
bring that to like the outer but like also to like the my mid eye does that make sense i hope so like this kind of made it a little bit deeper i don't think you can really see it on camera but it did i kind of want to go into this shade um it's called fotd and it looks pinkish to me like reddish pinky so i'm taking that and really focusing that on the outer corner to kind of give it like a deeper look on the outer corner it's a subtle difference but i like it for liner i thought we could have some more fun with the pink i'm gonna take this nyx vivid brights liner in vivid petal and i'm gonna use that oh my god that was so ugly nikki okay Oh, this wing doesn't even deserve to be shown, huh? Okay. We're gonna act like she didn't happen like that. We're gonna act like she looks exactly like this eye. I'm gonna take the same brush and kind of just go in and tap it a bit. I wanna take the other side of the brush and I wanna go back in with Bori because that's just my girl. I wanna add it into the the inner part of my eye just to make sure that she's there to kind of brighten because now we're looking a bit you know purplish and I'm taking supreme again I'm doing the same thing I love me a good palette with a mirror like please Not as vivid as I imagined, but I don't mind it because we brought in like that deeper purplish pink, but I actually like that for us, for me. So yeah, oh my God, what are the lips gonna look like, ma'am? All right, I'm gonna just take my mascara and coat my lashes because I kind of like to do that to let it sit. Do y'all care for the face? I'll show y'all the face. So for my foundation, I'm going in with my CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation in shade M50. I'm using her way too much. Oh, I gotta put her like right here. Because I got eyeshadow on me. Okay, that's perfect, actually. This is so off topic and irrelevant, but I'm wearing the cutest bodysuit from AliExpress. Check her out. Okay. Where's my concealer? I just had her. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. I think that's what it's called. I have shade 18. And I'm gonna use that to highlight. Okay, so concealer is on, I'm looking pale. But I'm gonna take my Revolution Banana Light Powder and I'm gonna set my under eyes and the rest of my face with that. I'm just gonna use a big fluffy brush and kind of do it like so. Cause I'm not really baking, I'm just really trying to set the liquids and creams in place so that my Powders can apply just nicely because we're moving into powders. Oh my god, I look pale as hell. Is it the light? Is it too bright? Damn. 
I look like I don't know my foundation tree. Okay. I do. It's M50, I promise. It doesn't look like that in person. It's so crazy to me on camera. Like, I'd be looking all types of crazy into, like, bronze. But in person, like, I could go out like this. Well. What do I do now? Oh, I'm gonna bronze. Sorry I'm not looking. I'm looking. I'm... Everything is scattered. Um, but I'm taking my Kylie Cosmetics bronzer in Tiny Mommy. Love this girl. And I'm just gonna use that to bronze. Hey, now we are contoured up and bronzed up. Sometimes if I feel like I mess up my nose contour, I kind of go back in with the beauty sponge that I use to like blend out like my creams and such. And I kind of put it down the middle so that kind of gives me more product to work with to like make it adjust. You feel me? Make up tip of the day. Okay. So here's where we go back into like the pinks. So, oh my god, I'm feeling myself now. Like, okay. <laughs> so, like I had mentioned earlier, I use this shade a lot from the Juvia's Place palette called Bori, and it has a little bit of pink. Girl, it's pink. It has a little bit of gold flex in it, but I do like to use it as a blush a lot. So that's what we're gonna do. So I just take it on this. Um, normally on this JHO4 brush, yeah, JHO4 from Morphe, and I kind of do like that. Now, it can come off, do I want to show y'all? Yeah, okay. It can come off like that. So sometimes, like, I'll kind of put it on the back of my hand and work it in and then kind of go like this. Um, and, yeah. So, if you're going to do the same method with an eyeshadow, especially a really pigmented one, I would just recommend, you know, taking some, dabbing it a little bit, maybe on the back of your hand or where you feel comfortable. Yeah. And doing it that way. It still looks a little crazy, but we got blending to do. But I'm going to take a little bit more and kind of put it on the tip of my nose or all on my nose, Nicolette. And then I kind of go back in and fix everything so major key to like doing this method for me at least is my big fluffy brush because i gotta blend everything in to make it look seamless and i was gonna say natural ain't nothing natural about this face right now but to just make it blend better look like i just worked out <laughs> i'm like oh my god i just worked out I that's why i'm red no, it's my blush. <laughs> you could go in with a lighter shade over it, but I just don't really feel like it. I do like how this looks on me, but I like to just go back with excess um, bronzer that's like normally on my contour brush to kind of like make sure that it's like an even amount, not too much blush and less contour because I'm trying to look snatched, not like I'm blushing because I'm not, you know. So for highlighter, IDK. Oh my God, I feel like I keep doing this a lot. I've been watching like a lot of Malik. Franklin? Yo, I'm terrible. I don't even know his name. Malik? With two eyes. You know what I'm talking about. He's funny as hell. Anyways. Okay, now you can like see my nose actually. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, let me find out what, what highlighter I'm going to use. Okay. So we have multiple options. Okay. <laughs> So what came to mind immediately when I was thinking like pink was this ColourPop um, High Five Super Shock Cheek. It's pearlized. It's like this pinkish color. Hated on me, but I bought it, so I kept it. But who knows? Maybe it'll go with this look. I thought of this Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Glow Kit. Just kidding. Doesn't have a pink. Going back in there. And then I thought of this ColourPop Crush On You Highlight Super Shock Cheek Highlighter Palette. And yeah, I knew that there was this shade. It's called Poker Face. It's like this pretty shade. So 
I'm gonna take this Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH09 brush and I'm gonna go in with Party. Oh, high five, Lord. I'm making up names. And I'm gonna take that and go in. See? The way that this looks, like in person, it looks like, first of all, it looks like a pearl. Pew. But on the ca on the camera it looks like a pearl but in person it go it correlates so well with this eye look and the like with my face makeup and I wouldn't normally wear this and I, I never like this on me but for this look it looks very good like especially in person when I'm looking at it up close in my mirror it oh my god it correlates so well ma'am wow it's like the perfect amount of pink mixed with like a nice I don't want to say like bronzy champagne, but it's mainly pink. I love that for this look. I love that. Do y'all see that? I don't think y'all see that. Do y'all see that? No, that, did, that made the, the look worse, Nicolette. Okay, I'm taking it above my brow. I'm going to go ham. This bitch looks good. Wow. I'm impressed. I didn't think I was going to like it, but I'm impressed. I like the way this looks. Hold on, let me blend it a little. I really like the way this looks and this finish of highlight. Like, it, it's super pearlized and pretty. Like, I just look very glossy, as I should say. So, but I do want to add in Poker Face a little bit to see what that does. So, the lighter pink, to see what that does, just adds a little bit more highlight you feel me highlight it to the bone I cannot find my scissors to cut the lash nor do I care to so I'm going to add more mascara to make my lashes look like even though probably oh, but I, I'm gonna do it so I added more mascara I cheated a bit I added a little bit of ew, white eyeliner um To my waterline but like I couldn't add a lash so that's what I'm gonna do but so for my inner corner highlight oh my god I'm not looking hold on for my inner corner highlight I'm gonna take this MAC pigment now this is in I don't know but it's this really cute pink I used to use this as a highlighter actually when I liked this type of stuff but um, I haven't really used it, but I want to use it as an inner corner highlight, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to take like this little brush and kind of put it... Oh, wow. Girl. Great move, Nikki. Great move. Pat on your back. Great move. This would have been cute for a highlight too, but I wanted to like incorporate different products, you know? I'm going to take the bronzer brush because sometimes I can apply a little bit too much and too far. And for me, that's just a trick that helps because, um, you know, my nose is contoured and such. So the bro adding the bronzer kind of just helps for me get rid of the excess, but also keep like the bronziness and contour of my face, if that made sense. I don't know if you guys can tell literally throughout my makeup routine, I always go in with my bronzer brush and like fix it because i'm just like i need it to be perfect okay now oh my gosh on to the lips so for lips i have a few options as well so i have this clinique chubby stick intense moisturizing lip color bomb in zero five plushes punch i have this ColourPop luxe Lipstick in all tea. And, um, I think that's it. I thought I had more. Um, I'm going to swatch them to kind of see. So this is what this one looks like. It's a very, it's a moisturizing balm. So I noticed that when I put it on, it's very, um, almost a dice. It's very shiny. And it's a pretty color, I guess. But, like, I don't necessarily like that for like a lipstick like I prefer my lipsticks to be like velvet matte especially if they're like in that form and then this is shade all tea I think I'm gonna use all tea but I kind of have an idea so hold on so I'm gonna use all tea so I'm gonna just 
do that. I'm gonna try my best. Hopefully it doesn't look like crap because I don't have a lip lighter. I do though. Hold on. I'm lying to you. I'm so sorry for lying. Hold on. I'm gonna use this Essence lip liner. First of all, Essence liners are bomb. I'm gonna use the shade 05 Soft Berry and I'm gonna use that to kind of, um, I was gonna say contour. Kind of, but no, I'm gonna use that to line my lips. Much better. Okay, I decided to go in with this Lorac Los Angeles foodie lipstick in the middle of my lip liner. And I actually don't mind that. I just wish I had a different color for this look. Oh my god, it's saying I have zero minutes. And I kind of want to take this I Love Set at EX ColourPop uh, Ultra Glossy Lip in Curvy. I'm gonna add a little bit more blush. So, that is it for this look. I actually really like how it turned out. I love me some pink, so this was fun for me, but I feel like this is like a really subtle pink look that's still like, <laughs> just the swatches, but like, Thank you.